Brian Cantrell. I'm the, the CTO of a startup. So um, Alexi, uh, Alexi's daughter and my daughter, my youngest, uh, went to the same preschool. So I was wearing a, you know, I, I wear my nerd shirts, although this is actually a baseball shirt, but the, um, I was wearing a nerd shirt to a, to a preschool picnic. And Alexa came to me and said, what do you know about ZFS? I'm like, what? well, I know quite a bit about ZFS. And we got into a conversation. She's like, wait a minute. I know you. I follow you online. And then we, I, then I realized that I followed him online. And uh, I, it, he told me about Scale by the Bay. And it kind of, so very old school in that regard. Old school physical networking. So I, the thing I like about my talks, so I, I was talking about uh, Moore's Law, the end of Moore's Law, um, introducing something called the Wright's Law, um, which it looks at the co unit cost of technology over time. And what is fun for me is to tie what's happening in the hardware substrate to what's happening in software. I, I think that we uh, tend to isolate ourselves in software from the, the underlying physicality, but that physicality is actually not just important, but essential. So it's always fun to get software folks, software engineers, really thinking about and having empathy for uh, the underlying hardware substrate. And there's some really interesting things that are happening there, especially as Moore's Law does come to an end and we look at what's next. I, I, there's a talk I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, Evan Chen is giving a talk on, uh, on Rust, on his adventures with Rust. And the reason I'm excited to see it is because I saw Evan give a talk here last year, and he was talking about all of this work he was doing to make the JVM run faster with Scala. And it was great work, but I was like, man, this guy really could use some Rust. Um, so I had actually given a talk on Rust here, and after the talk I said, you know, I'm not sure if you've taken a look at it, but you should really consider Rust. And um, you, you know, it's always fun to be the messenger of a good message. Um, and yeah, I think like a lot of people, he'd heard about it. It's not like I was breaking news to him, but um, you know, he got really interested in it. And when I saw the program this year, I'm like, oh, that's great. Evan is like, clearly saw something there. And I spoke with him earlier and uh, it's, it's, he sees a lot of the same things in it that I see and that a lot of people see. I mean, I, I'm really nothing special in this regard. A lot of people see this, but it's really fun to have to, to be able to uh, bring effectively someone else's technology to someone else, acting really only as a conduit, um, but then seeing uh, that excitement um, in someone else is, is really gratifying. So I, I cannot wait for his talk tomorrow. So th that I'm looking forward to, so I just started a company. Uh, I am, uh, which is very exciting, um, and we are, are just completing a, a fundraise, which is which is very exciting, and looking forward to taking a big swing at a hard problem. We're a very iconoclastic startup in many ways. Currently working out of my co-founder's garage, so uh, cliched in some ways, iconoclastic in others. But um, it's going to be a hell of a year, and I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, one of the things I love about Scale by the Bay this year is it's in the East Bay. So I have, uh, I've lived in the East Bay for 10 years. Alexi lives in the East Bay. I uh, used to live in San Francisco. I lived in Silicon Valley, then I lived in San Francisco, and now I live in the East Bay. And I don't think my, my progression there is anything special, but I do think it's representative of a lot of technologists in the Bay Area. It used to be long ago that the East Bay was kind of a no man's land for technology. And in fact, uh, Hummer Winblad, the VC firm, uh, their investment thesis back in the 80s was we invest in East Bay companies because Sand Hill wouldn't touch them. Uh, that's a lot has changed around that. And what I see is a lot of technologists moving to the East Bay, a lot of new company formation moving to the East Bay. So to me, it's exciting to have a, a tech event um, in Oakland. It, it's a terrific demographic that it draws in. I mean, it, it, there's something very pure about Scala folks, not to put them all in one, in, in kind of one bucket, um, but there's something very beautiful about it and about functional folks and then using that as a kind of a pillar to 
pull in wider technologists. Uh, what I'd like is for Scale by the Bay to get um, to get broader and to get more more different kinds of technologists here, um, and still kind of maintain some of that that regional focus. Um, it's the hallway track here is terrific, and I think it's only going to get better.